it's gonna look like this to now let's get to it hey thank you for tuning back in um, I lost almost all of the video footage of doing this trim up here uh, some of the paint and the framing down here so that's what's got done let me check it out let me show you let me swap this camera around so did a two inch trim here going around ripped out those two portions portions um, I cut out frame and I got a roll down blackout vinyl curtain that should be fun installing next thing I have to do is clean this out but let me ask you in the comments down below what should I do about this bottom section how do I cover it how do I enclose it should I enclose it let me know in the comments below and just to help me out leave a like and subscribe if you want to share it to your friends your aunt and especially that weirdo cousin that you have that's also doing renovation of an RV but I appreciate it okay so what I did here was cut out first I measured the um, width or length of the wind ah, what am I saying the height of the window I got that measurement I don't I didn't want to make any 45 degree cuts or anything like that just because one I'll probably mess it up and I don't want to go through that but end up doing this and I'm gonna get a block and cover this in. I'm gonna trim out all this tape and all that and all the paint later but I like the box look because it makes it feel more homey when this is down, at least in the pictures that I've seen. So what I first did is get that measurement and I added the width of this to the <coughs> uh, length. And that was two and a half inches so I just added five inches to this bottom and that's how I got that, uh, that bottom and top cut. So there it is now. What I'm gonna do is get a little triangle piece and just come in and overlap here. And then I'm gonna water seal or waterproof everything around the window. Just so it retains some moisture and stops and repels all that stuff. And if my sun spills or anything like that, then that's all good there. So now it's time for the roll down vinyl blind. And it comes with a pack of screws and all the hinges and mounting brackets that you need. It's fairly easy. You can go to Home Depot and get these cut to exact dimensions uh, regardless of any window size. I think the biggest one I've seen was like 92 inches. Bunch of different uh, options here. So yeah, let's put that up. favorite way of placement is using a sharpie and dotting the spots that you need on the actual material that you're going to be drilling in. And this is really handy because it closes. Let's see, it's not going to focus. Alright, it's not going to focus. Um, it closes on it and you can pull that back out. So it's going to be very tight. 